So Newcastle v Wolves in the Premier League after a fantastic win against Brighton to get through to the quarterfinals. It's back to Premier League action where we push towards Europe. I'm going up on the club coaches today, meeting my dad up there, you know, coach number one. The last time I went to Newcastle, it's been a while, it was under Walter Zenger where we won 2-0. So I've got good memories of coming to St James's. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe if you're new and let's go. Five hours later. So I just arrived in Newcastle and it's perfect timing because Manny Singh is just about to arrive in about 10 minutes from his walk from Molyneux. So let's uh, go and see him approach his last few meters to complete his challenge. <laughs> Come on, son! Quick score prediction for the game. 3 1 Wolves. Samado anytime. <laughs> I'll stick with 2 1. <laughs> Come on. Basically half time. We started off really well, but their first goal, big deflection off Dawson. Header in for Isaac. Fuming, absolutely fuming. Four hours for this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, and then Sar and whoever. Bit of a calamity in Kilman, I think it was, isn't it? And then it's 2 0. But you never know. Let's come back. Newcastle 3, Wolves 0. Um, it weren't great, let's be honest. Not great at all, but... Dad, come here. No, I want you in it. I want you in it, because you just said something that made me think. What did you say? You didn't think we'd lose 3 0 no, today? No, I didn't. But, I think you're overreacting a little bit. I've come up here today, five hour journey, you live up here. Yeah. But, I think they put in effort. I just feel like the first two goals for Newcastle today, bit of luck, yeah. bit of deflections. But your raw feelings are the players didn't do us today. No, they didn't. So yeah, say I, what you I'm think. Disappoint. I'm disappointed. I thought we'd have beat them today, to be honest. I thought we'd have beat them. Mm. But they, they, they will be over the moon. Yeah, exactly. obviously. Clo you know, we're close in the league, but we shouldn't be close to them. How much money have they got for their Saudi owners? It don't matter these days, money, does it? Yeah, but they've got that money with their Saudi owners. We are punching above our weight with Gary O'Neill. And I feel like, don't overreact. That's my that's my thoughts. Don't overreact. We'll still it's a long way to come. So we this away will end. still finish above Newcastle. No, but Dad, this away end's overreacting a little bit. Yes, it's a long yeah. way to come. It's like a four or five hour journey. Everyone's like, oh, fucking hell, you know, end of the world. 
but we've got injuries, no Cunha, no Quang. You know, we didn't offer much really. We, we didn't have a shot first off. They got their lucky breaks, 2-0, got the third goal. The third goal was calamity, but I know you're gutted because you've got to be a connection. Oh, I'm getting All getting your some Newcastle st- friends. I'm know. getting some stick, yeah. mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you're gutted. Yeah. But I feel like the players put in effort today. You might not feel like it. I feel like they did. Mm. That's the good thing under Gary O'Neill. They always put in effort. Saar went off, Bentley come in. Their two first goals was luck. He yeah. just dropped their way. But you Simba. can't... What I love about this team is you can't say they don't put in no, effort. No, and they no, did. No. We lost 3-0, but they did. But there we go. I still fly the flag. Yeah, there we go. I know you're gutted, but there we go. But I'm going to have a five-hour journey back on the coach now. You're going to go back to Washington. I am, I am. <laughs> There we go. On, but the, on the drink. Dad, we're still mid-table. We're in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Yes. What yeah. the fuck? You know what yeah. I mean? Mad.